good morning cat that we have all of a sudden adopted. Okay guys, I have a conundrum. Every time I back up, it's always first thing in the morning and it doesn't last all day. When I back up, hear that? It squeaks. However, I've taken my truck in twice and they say your brakes are fine. They're like, they're at like 60, 70%. They say you don't need new brakes. Maybe somebody out there knows. What would that be? I have no idea. If my brakes are fine, like what would be squeaking when I'm only going in reverse? And it doesn't even go all day. Like it's first thing in the morning. It's like it's gotta shake the rust off, but then the rest of the day, I'm fine. I am not a mechanic. So maybe somebody out there could tell me, hey, brother, go check your, you know, blinky blanky or whatever, I don't know. What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Our first video in South Carolina. So a lot of you guys know, not everybody knows though, that I just moved to South Carolina from Idaho. So this is our first video shot in the great south of America. I am so juiced, but I'm also a little nervous because the fishing around here is completely different than fishing in Idaho. I mean, the fish just get so much bigger. Uh, the growing season's longer. It's, we're at the middle end of March right now and it's spawning season. Like spawning season doesn't happen for another couple of months in Idaho, easily. I'm honestly going for whatever bites because I, I'm really starting from scratch. I'm like RuneScape level five in fishing here in South Carolina. In Idaho, like I felt like I was a good RuneScape level like 90 plus for just general fishing. But here, it's like starting a brand new account. Yeah, we're, we, we've got nets and we're going for shrimp, man. That's in RuneScape terms. That's pretty much where we're at right now. All right, guys, before we hit the lake though, oh yeah, we're stopping by a little bait shop and they sell I think they sell minnows. I know they sell live herring. We're gonna go see if they sell minnows. That's the other cool thing about fishing here in the South. I get to use live bait, which in Idaho you cannot use. You can use crawfish, but that's really about the only thing you can use. Actually, that is the only thing you can use. And the fish don't really, like, you can catch some catfish maybe on some crawfish, but it's like, meh. But here you can use like herring, night crawlers, bluegill, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's, it's nuts, so I'm really excited to go give this a try. I mean, this is, I've never done anything like this before. So we're gonna go and see if we can get some live bait. I gotta see what this is. Let's check this out. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that. It's a little herring. Got more over here. That is so cool. Just big tubs full of them. I know they use these a lot for the striper and catfish as well. That'll be for another video. Good morning, sir. Good, how are you doing? Good. I was in here the other day mm -hmm. uh, getting some advice. I just moved to the area actually um, mm -hmm. from Idaho. I was wondering, do you guys sell minnows by chance? Mm -hmm. I would like some minnows, please. Right. I've never fished with live bait before, so I'm jacked. Really? No, in Idaho, you can't use, you can use crawdads, that's it. Bad joke, you can't use potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna need something to keep them in. Yeah, we got a little middle button here. Oh, Bring thank you. Five. Perfect, I'll take it. Do you just find like minnows like that in, in the lake? Or do you well, like- all, Most all you minnows around here come from Arkansas. Oh, okay, oh wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Arkansas is the minnow capital of the country. <laughs> That's cool. So guys, check this out. You got some medium sized minnows, some smaller minnows. And then check out the hook size on this. You got size one and in idaho there's no way you'd use a hook that size that, that's way too big that's like bass fishing size right there so there's our first bucket of live minnows there awesome wow i gotta get right, out Mark, there you have fun what was your name again sir i'm richard mr richard uh, thank you so much sir i appreciate it right, right. We'll see you later. i'll let you know how i do <laughs> check that out guys got our bucket of bait guys mr richard just let me in on all kinds of information those are the kinds of people you want to talk to uh, when you're in a new new spot new area. He's been fishing here pretty much his whole life And uh, he, he just knows everything and that, that's the kind of gentleman you want to you want to hang around and be around because he'll uh, He'll point you in the right direction every time 
All right, we are here. Let's see, how did our minnows fare? Oh, they're still doing good. Yeah, they're doing fine. That's awesome. Okay, so I called this morning to get a camping spot and nobody answered. So I came to the office and of course the office is closed. Um, so I talked with the camp host and they couldn't help me. So that was a little bit of a bummer. Finally, somebody called me back though and I got a camping spot. So we should be set up for the night or so I thought until I got to the camping spot that they gave me and somebody's camping there. So I've called them back and had to leave a message. Um, and tell them, look, somebody's still in my camping spot. And I don't know what else to do at this point, except to just start fishing because it's almost noon already and we haven't even gotten into the water. So I may as well just like get started fishing, wait for somebody to call me back. I'd really rather have my camp set up um, before we go fishing. That way I don't have to do it tonight, but we've really got no other choice at this point. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop the Hobie kayak in and uh go ahead and get going fire up the hummingbird been a while since i had this bad boy on well the water feels pretty decent that's a good sign all right first spot we got this little bridge here and mr richard at the bait shop said you want bridges and brush and there's some nice little bridge pines here. I just took a run under it and it's about 10, 12 feet deep. So I figure that's perfect depth. Let's grab a minnow here if we can. Right to the back there, there we go, look at that. Now we're gonna float right past this piling. We're just gonna drop this straight down. Let's see what we're looking at here. And yeah, there's some junk on the bottom there for sure. Let's get this down to the bottom. Let's see if anything's by these pilings. Let's see what our first fish of South Carolina will be. I feel like kind of the cool thing about this too is like with the minnow down there, like you could catch anything on this. Maybe a catfish, bass, crappie, striper. Yeah, there's a bite. Oh, I missed him. I totally got a bite. My shiner's gone. He gone. We definitely got a bite down there. That was cool. That was really cool. Come here, you. No, missed. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't you go anywhere. I have to get used to handling these guys. There we go. Let's go back up and try it again. There we go, right by that piling. There's a bite. Got him. We got one, guys. We got our first fish on the little on the little oh oh yeah it's a big old crappie it's a big old crappie check this out oh on our shiner let's get our net look at this oh yeah that was awesome he just horked it down look at that first fish in south carolina crappie on the live shiner that was epic sweet here we go hook pops right out toss that over the side look at that now if i'm not mistaken they have to be 10 inches so we will measure him up which is different because in idaho you can keep just any size oh yeah in fact he's about 10 and a half perfect we got our first keeper guys there we go let's get him on a stringer let's get rigged back up and let's get back over there see if we can do some more damage see if there's anything else hanging out down there maybe even bigger Check this guy out. That's a little bit bigger one. Maybe we'll get a jumbo crappie. Look at that. That's definitely a lot bigger right there. Let's give that a go. See what happens. Got him. Oh, this is a big fish, guys. Oh, this is a big... Oh. Hey, man! I got one. Oh, it's a big old largemouth. Largemouth. Yeah, it's a decent size. Yeah. Oh yeah, just choked, nice. choked that minnow. How's it going? Look at that, whoa, that is awesome. You just don't ever know what you're gonna get. 
on those minnows. That is awesome, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That's probably like a two, two and a half pound. Well, that's probably a good two and a half pound largemouth right there. Oh man, I thought I thought if that was a crappie, that was going to be an epic crappie. But that is still a fun catch right there. That is awesome. Man, that is a pretty fish. We'll get her back in the water. Good fight. Hork down that minnow. Woo, there she goes. That was sweet. Let's get back up there, see if we get anything else. Man, it's gonna take me a while to get a hang of putting these on. There we go. Right there. It's just like that. Look, see how he's moving around? Just got that little, little action. It's driving those fish nuts. Let's get back up there. Got him. Got another one. This might be another bass. Just, or it's a massive crappie. Oh, this might be a big old crappie. No. Oh, yeah, it's a big crappie. Big crappie. Oh. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Oh, it's a big crappie. That's a nice big old crappie. Yeah. Woo. Guys, check that out. That is a big old fatty. Look at that. Oh man, that is beautiful right there. Oh yeah, that's what we're after. That's what we're after. Let's see how long it is. I'm curious to know. Here we go, let's see how big this is. 1.16, 1.16 pounds, that is awesome. 12 and a half inches, 12 and a half inches long. Another big fatty, that's, that's a good two inches bigger than the last one we caught. Nice! On the live minnow once again. That is so cool. And just like that, once again. Look at that action right there. See that? That's struggling. Mm. Crappie and bass are just gobbling that up. Got it. Another one. Oh, man. Right there. You make, you make it look easy, man. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, this is a this is a panfish here. This is a little Oh guys, this is a bluegill, but they call them brim here, I think. In Idaho, we call these bluegill. Check this out, check this out, look at that. That's a little fatty. Just choked down that live minnow. Look at the pretty colors on that. Whoa, that is crazy. You know, we might try to, I like bluegill actually. Bluegill tastes pretty good. Or brim, they call them brim here down south. There you go. Just ate that minnow up with that big old hook too. I mean, just had no problem with it. There's no way in Idaho you would have got that guy on that. That is crazy. We're gonna go ahead and throw him in with the other minnows. That is so cool. All right guys, check this out. I figure since they're smacking those little shiners, look at that. I figure that mimics some pretty good little gulp, two inch shiner on a little red jig head right there let's see if we can get something on that and i'm gonna go ahead and work this a little bit more instead of just like dropping that shiner down there and letting them you know fiddle around i'm gonna actually jig this a little bit and see if we can uh get something to commit see if we get anything on this jig you got him got him on the jig I don't know what this is. This might be a bass. No, it's a crappie. Oh, nice crappie. Look at this. Oh, big crappie. Oh, big crappie. Big, big, big crappie. Big old crappie. Oh my gosh. Whoa! This is even bigger than the last one. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Choke down that jig right there. Oh, that little minnow. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa, holy cow. First float by the pilings with our little minnow. Oh my goodness, just worked it a little bit more. Oh, and that slabo was hanging out down there. Holy cow, whoa. That's probably the biggest crappie I've ever caught in my life, to be honest with you guys. Whoa, look at that, whoa. Oh my goodness, we gotta weigh it up. Let's see how much she weighs. 1.65, 1.65, holy cow. Let's see how long it is. Whoa, that's 16 inches. 
16 inches. Wow. That, that is amazing. Oh my word. Woo! That'll go on the stringer. Good grief. What a pancake. That is a pancake fish right there. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm just working it pretty good. I'll let it rest and then give it a couple little pops. And then this wind's blowing me at a pretty decent clip, so it's kind of just drifting along the bottom. Look at that right there. See that big old mound of something? There's something down there. There's either, that's either a brush pile or something. Something or other that looks like it could be a bait ball too, but my guess is that's probably a brush pile right there. Because it seems like every time we float over right about this area, it seems like we're getting a, we're getting a bite. So they're probably just stacked up around that. Let's see if we get another bite here in a second. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him. Right there. Right by that pillar. Once again, this is another good fish. Another good crappie. Holy cow. Another big pancake. Are you kidding me? Oh my word. Look at this. Oh man, they're just crushing this. Look at that. I mean, oh, this is a pancake. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Just absolutely annihilating this little grub. I got to get out of the way. I got a boat coming. But look at that. Holy cow. Check out that stringer, guys. Look at that. That is just epic. All right, guys. It's been probably about a, close to an hour since my last crappie. I've been getting a lot of little bites, but I think it's just brim. So I think what we're going to do, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm actually going to go back to the camp and get camp set up, get our tent set up and everything. And then we're gonna be right on the water actually so that I can just launch my kayak from there. Then that way I'm not having to get all set up at night or while it's getting dark. And um, I kind of like to get out here and see if these fish will be hitting the top or not. Uh, maybe throw top water. It's pretty overcast now. So they might be, um, they might be out and about. I don't know, we'll have to see. Or maybe we go find some docks, see if we can spot some more crappie or even some bass around some dock areas. All right, so quick status update. I went to go to my camping spot and there is still somebody occupying it. So I tried to call the office, but the office is closed. The lady who normally takes care of everything who called me back isn't answering her phone either. So basically what we're gonna do is take the original catch cooking cap whack off the camp part and this has just become a catch and cook i have all my stuff set up right here right on the lake and it's just beautiful out this evening so you know we couldn't ask for any better conditions and fortunately this place is only like 30 minutes from my house so it's not like we drove deep into the mountains to get here only to find that we don't have a camping spot so we're gonna go ahead and get cooking anyway and uh just gonna have to do a catch and cook today instead all right it's kind of nice. There's a nice little like sandbar right here. It's kind of awesome. Do you guys see all this yellow stuff in the water? This is actually all pollen from like the evergreen trees and such. There's that much of it. Uh, it gets pretty gnarly. There's like a really gnarly yellow dust that flies around out here. Fortunately, I have a... Uh, allergy medication so I'm able to combat this but a lot of people suffer pretty badly when there's about a month's period where the air around here is just gnarly uh, and as you can see that's what's coming down all right so we've dispatched of our crappie aka we beat him over the head with a rock that's like the fastest and most humane way to kill a fish take a big rock to the head you know he's dead there ain't no ifs ands or buts about it man look at that I don't remember the last time I was able to fillet a crappie and get that much meat. Look <laughs> off of a fillet. These are definitely a good sized fish down here. Look at that. Good grief. That is awesome. Check that out right there. And that's just two of the crappie. We got so many nice fillets. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm actually going to fry these up to start with. So we're gonna cut these into like bite-sized pieces here. Next, I'll go ahead and get this started. At some point. Oh, she moves. 
There we go. I've got some vegetable oil for frying. Get this warmed up. If the lid will ever come off. Come on now. Are you, are you serious right now? What in the heavens to Betsy? There we go. Finally. Next I have some Louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry. To be honest guys, I don't fry a lot of fish. My bro Ace does a lot of the frying. I like to get like, I like doing like pan seared and that kind of stuff. But for today, I'm gonna throw this down. Well, okay. Excuse me while I go find some scissors to open this because I cannot open it. And we're back. I think I finally got this. There we go. Open, I'm just gonna pour some of that. I'm gonna take these guys and we're gonna just drop them in here and move them around. Get all nice and coated up. Anything you guys see in the video, I'll try to put links in the description. So if you're interested in anything, you can go to the description below in the video and find it. Or if there's something that you don't see in the description below, but you want, just hit me up in the comments. I'm usually pretty good about letting people know where they can find it or providing a link. All right, once our oil's hot enough, which I believe it is, you just take each little nugget like that. Oh yeah, that's hot. Drop them right on in for a little oil bath. Now I'm questioning this just a little bit because normally, I do like an egg and milk wash and this according to this it just says just do it just just dry the fish off after you rinse it put it right in the bread breading mixture and then put it right in the frying pan so I'm a little skeptical to be honest with you um but those are the instructions so we'll give it a go after a couple minutes give them a little flip here we want golden brown is what we're looking for all right these are ready to come out Got this little bowl with the paper napkin in it. That'll help drain the oil off. We are going to take our fish that is now oil, mostly oil free. We're gonna take some Buffalo Wild Wings Mango Habanero. This is like one of the spiciest sauces they have. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle lightly. I'm gonna try a little sweet heat crappie right there. Look at that. Just It's almost like a Almost looks like orange chicken or something like that. I'm gonna give this a go right now. There you go. Spicy mango habanero crappie. Oh my goodness, Ooh, that is spicy. Mmm, fried it perfectly. <clears throat> Whoa, wow, that is spicy. A little goes a long way. I'm glad I didn't like super coat it. This is really good, it's like sweet. You're getting like a lot of good sweet twinges between the heat <clears throat> and personally i don't handle the heat that well um I, so this is really playing hot for me I'm gonna wash it down with a little southern drink cheer wine mm. oh that's so good no yeah, what a good first ever fishing trip in south carolina this was an amazing day like i don't think that could have gone any better finish it off with some fresh fried fish right out of the lake behind me mm. Okay, this day might have just gotten a whole heck of a lot better and I didn't think it could. I think I see a frog in a drain right down here, which if that's the case, then, wait a second. Is that another one? Oh yeah, that was, he just moved. Oh, so guys on the other side over here. Oh, there's a frog right down there. Looks like a decent size one to like eat inside. I just got an epic idea. We should see if this frog will eat a minnow. We have to lower a minnow down to him. I've still got some from today. Let's go rig up a minnow and let's see if we can get an up close shot of this frog horking a minnow down. I don't know if he'll eat it or not, but it's gonna be epic if he does. Oh, this is perfect. Check this out. Check this out. Frogs hate the color red. Got that little red head jig on still. Now, just like that. There we go. Look at that. You think he'll go for that? I think he will. Let's see. All right, here we go. Our minnow is alive and well. Oh, there are two of them down there, I think.
I missed him. I missed him. Dang it. The little one came over, ate it. The big one didn't want anything to do with it. Oh, man. Oh, guys, that was crazy. There were two of them down. I didn't see the little one down there. What we're going to do is we're going to let them rest, see if they come back out. And we'll have to try to bug that big one and uh, see if we can get him to bite. Let's keep cooking up some fish, though. For our second batch of fish, Mr. Richard at the tackle shop that we were at this morning, he told me this is the best way to eat crappie in his opinion. He's eating them all kinds of different ways from here to Sunday. But he said this recipe is the tried and true in his opinion. He'll eat it like this all day long and this is the best. Here we go, We've got our fresh batch of crappie. Now here's what he liked to do. He liked to take a little salt, a little pepper, mix it around and that's it right there. That was his most favorite way to eat them. Now I might have used the right breading, maybe not, but he just liked them bread with a little salt and pepper, just like that. Golden and crispy. You know, this way you just kind of let the crappie speak for itself. Mmm. Dang, Mr. Richard. That is good. That was good. I could use like a little coleslaw. Some nice cool coleslaw on the side. Mmm. Maybe even like some tartar sauce. Mmm. Okay, our frog is back. I'm going to grab another minnow. Take two. Let's see if we can get him. Be a nice healthy one. There we go. There's a deer in the woods over there. There are a couple of them actually. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Not very often you see so much neatness in one place. Here we go. Let's see if we can get him this time. Oh, I missed him. How did I miss him? Oh, is he still down there? Oh, no, 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 he still wants it. Oh, he just ate it, he just ate it. Got him! <gasps> oh, oh, no! Got him! No, no! Got him! Yeah! Oh, that is awesome! Now, I don't think that's the big one that was down there, though. Is there another one down there? Let's see if the other one's down there. Oh, that's crazy, huh? There's another one down there. Guys, I think we're gonna have some frog legs. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's as big as they get in Idaho, just about right there. We're gonna eat some frog leg. What do you guys say? That's not bad. Nice. <laughs> Ate that little minnow right up. Look at that. Okay, for those of you who don't know how to clean a frog, this is how it's done. So he's dead. I've killed the frog already. You make a small cut at the back of the head where the skin is. And then, oh, I need some pliers. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can just grab it. Maybe I'll just, oh, look at that. Me and my big meaty claws. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Anyway, you take it and you skin him. When you make that small cut, you take the skin right off. Actually, I was supposed to take the legs off first. So, cut the legs off. Then you skin him. Now you're left with the body and legs, which you just do this. Obviously being careful not to cut your dingers. And boom, you've got some big meaty legs there. Then what we're gonna do is just drop those legs in with our fish. We'll fry them up with the fish. Why not? Just one big party, man. One big party in the fry pan. Drop some fish pieces in there along with our froggy leg, just like so. All right, check out how this frog turned out. Look at that, nice crispy bit of frog. Now, in the spirit of spicy, we're gonna try one leg mango habanero. I'm gonna just dip a little right there and there on a plate. And then one leg with just salt and pepper. There we go, look at that. There's one, I'm gonna kinda just dredge him through. That's good enough. There we go. Mmm, crispy to perfection. Man, that hot sets in fast. Oh, 
I just about can't take the hot. But the, the mango tastes so good. Ooh. Now, we try just a regular fried frog leg. Frog is so good. I think it's kind of got a flavor all to itself. And I really like it. Like, I could eat a whole plate full of this. Mmm. Mmm, there's one happy dog on that boat. And of course, more crappie. Nice soft inside, nice crispy outside, nice good golden brown. I say, let's go back over though. Let's see if that other big frog is still there. Mm, let's go get him. Okay, I don't see him down there. Doesn't mean he's not down there though. I'm gonna drop this down there. See if we can coax him out. Got him. Oh, this is a piggy. Look at this jumbo. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. On the, on the minnow. That's the toady we were looking for right there. Now there are some big old legs. Check that out. Just ate that little minnow up. Oh man, that's a big one. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. What a day. What a day. That's gonna taste good. We're starting to lose light pretty quickly, but we got enough time for this bad boy to check that out. Look how big those legs are. What? That is a big old piggy frog. That's probably one of the biggest frogs I've ever caught, even including the ones I caught in Idaho. Like that was, that was a jumbo frog in Idaho, and I got a feeling they might get even bigger here. Here we go, guys. Big old juicy frog leg. Look at that. Look at that big old porker. So sorry about the lighting. We've quickly lost light in the sky. It got kind of a little bit more overcast than it was, so hence the reason it got dark quickly. Check it out. Drumstick. Mmm. Look at the size of that bone. Like that is like a, the size of a chicken. Like that looks like something legit from KFC. KFC fried frog. Its finger looking good. What a way to end the day. Mmm, fried frog, that's good. Well, YouTube fam, what an epic, epic first day here in South Carolina. Hopefully next time we come out, there'll actually be a camping spot for me and we can come out here and camp and throw down two or three days of adventures like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.